I'm Julia Gintoff back here with Coach Mora and it is officially week zero of the college football season. We are just a few days away from college football and Coach, a few days away from your first game as head coach of the Huskies. How are you feeling heading into this matchup? Uh, I feel good. I feel like we've done a lot of good things here and we're headed towards success. It's a long, long path, but excited about seeing our players go out there and perform. I think they've earned the right to go play with a lot of confidence and enjoy the experience. And, I know they'll be very competitive, so I'm excited. I've seen it in practice. These guys are itching to play. They're ready to compete. Um, I'm sure you're seeing it this week. What does that energy feel like as you transition from camp mode to game prep? Is there a little more energy going on with the guys? Yeah, I think there's a lot more energy and a lot more focus. You know, after a while, you get tired of seeing the same person across from you when you're competing. And these guys love to compete, and they love to compete on a big stage against the best in the country. And we get that chance this week to go to Utah State and play a top 25 team uh, as a huge underdog. And I think our guys take that personally. Uh, I believe that they'll be locked in no matter who we're playing or where we're playing. But they, it's been really impressive for me to see them switch from camp mode, where it's a little bit redundant at times, and flip that switch into game mode where this the ultra focus, they've got that zoom focus you need to go out and, and win. Right, so let's talk Utah State. We got sort of the tale of two teams here, right? We get the Aggies coming off a Mountain West championship last year. They're returning their veteran quarterback. They have that momentum going into the season, and now they're facing up against this Husky team that really no one's ever seen before. So it's nice because it's really hard to scout you guys, but at the same time, to the outside eye, there's a lot of question marks still around this team. And I know you don't like to look at lines, you like to let the performance speak for itself, but as you said, you're pretty big underdogs going into this matchup. Do you feel like you have something more to prove in that way? And, or does that just fuel like your competitive fire that um, you're trying to foster with the team? The only people we have something to prove to is ourselves. You know, we don't pay attention to the line, uh, the point spread, the over-under. We just, we don't talk about those things. There aren't things that we can control. All we control is our performance, our preparation, um, our focus, and, uh, you know, just like we always say, just put the ball down and we'll play, we'll compete. It doesn't matter who we're playing against. It's about playing up to our standards. So we play a really good Utah State team, like I said. Uh, we have a ton of respect for them. They, they do have momentum coming off of last year, if you want to consider that momentum. To me, momentum's a year-to-year -year thing. It's a week-to-week -week thing. It's a shoot, it's a play-to-play -play thing during a game. So the most important thing we can do is just take care of our business and be as prepared as we can be, as confident and as focused as we can be, and go out and then just cut it loose and play football. All right. When you look at the Aggies' offensive performance last year, a lot of their um, success came from the passing game. I think it was Logan Bonner threw for 3,600 yards, 36 touchdowns. On our end, can you talk a little bit to how you've worked on developing the pass rush specifically in the offseason throughout camp and what, where your confidence lies with those guys right now? Well, I have confidence in our ability to get to the passer. Now, you know, this kid gets it out quick. You know, he doesn't take a lot of sacks. I mean, he takes very few sacks considering the amount of times they throw the football because it's a, you know, it's a fast paced passing game. But, you know, pass rush is, is not just the four guys up front. It's also a function of the coverage, just like coverage is a function of the pass rush. So I'm confident in our ability to rush the pass. I think we've guys, got guys that can win one on one battles. I think we've got games where we can create problems versus the protections that they run. Uh, and we've got to be able to match up down the field, be good in our zones, be good in man. But it all has to function together. And, uh, and that's what we're trying to do every day in practice, is just get a little bit more precise in our, in our execution. Right, sticking with the defense, you've got a lot of depth in your secondary, and you've got a good amount of experience coming back. Dronte Jones, Caleb Anthony, Trey Wortham. A lot of guys were competing for those spots over camp, and they're definitely gonna have their hands full with these opposing receivers, but we've seen it in practice, their energy, their willingness to play, those things that you can't teach are there with this group especially. So what do you think, in ter who do you think in terms of DBs has the potential to make an impact in this first game, and what excites you most about this group? I'll tell you what excites me most first is the fact that I looked out on the field from my office yesterday at 3.30, which was an hour and 15 minutes before our scheduled meeting times, and the secondary was out there going through a player run workout, or player run walkthrough. And they were walking through their adjustments and they were walking through route structures without anyone asking them to do so. They were doing that on a voluntary basis, and to me that was really, really impressive. Um, 
you know, all those names you mentioned are guys that, you know, we're counting on. And then, you know, we have a, a newcomer, a transfer from Missouri, Chris Sheeran, who's really shown up and he adds a real level of professionalism to a young group. And uh, I think he's been really instrumental in helping these guys understand how to prepare. He's assimilated himself into the group really well. Uh, I think everyone respects him. I'm excited to see Durante play. You know, he's a guy that, um, during practice, you kind of have to hold him back because he's a spirited player who loves contact. Well, we don't have to hold him back anymore. We can let him go, and I'm excited to see how he plays. And, uh, really just, you know, I'm excited. There's, it's hard to pick out one guy because I just want to see our team play. Right, so true. To the other side of the field, I know offense has made great strides throughout camp. I know they struggled a little bit at the beginning of camp just trying to figure everything out. But in terms of offensive cohesion, focus, and specifically taking care of the football in these situational scenarios, what has that progression looked like and how do you feel like it'll translate to the real thing on Saturday? Well, it's looked good. I mean, they've made a lot of progress. It's not unusual for an offense to be a little bit behind a defense at the start of camp because there's so much of what they do is timing um, and just getting a feel for quarterbacks and receivers and how they're running routes and, uh, you know, how the line's blocking up front and when the hole's going to open for the running back. Um, our ball security has been good and it's, it's, an, it's probably I would say the number one emphasis for all of our groups, you know, when we go into any game, you know, we want to take care of the football on offense, we want to take care of the football on teams, we want to take the football away on teams, we want to take the football away on defense. We start everything right there. So I think they've done a good job with it. Um, you know, Utah State is a good defense and they do some things that are a little bit um, abnormal in terms of what you typically see. So they're going to cause some problems. We just have to make great decisions. Right. I remember you saying last week, if, if you want to be a competitor, you want to play against the best. And I'm excited to see who rises to the occasion this weekend. UConn travels to Utah State on Saturday. Kickoff is at 4 p.m. Eastern time on FS1. You're going to want to check this out. Thank you, Coach, once Thank again. You. And best of luck out west. Thank you.